o'clock in the morning still seems like a good time to talk about coffee. Oh, <laughs> and both of you guys know a little something. So you say about how to make some of the best coffee in the world. How long have you been doing this? Hands down. Yeah. I've been doing this about 12 years now. And, and I've been experimenting out of my house for about 10 years, uh, but just been working with this guy for a little over a year. Awesome. So how did yeah. North Shore Coffee come about? And of course, you know we want to go ahead and taste some. Too. Yeah, so, so I need to, I'm going to go ahead and start making some while we talk. Let's How's that sound? Because that's a part of it. So North Shore was actually, interestingly enough, named after the North Shore of the Reservoir. Even though, I don't know if you know this, but north of New Orleans, there's a really big lake called Lake Pontchartrain, and there's a couple communities north of that that are called the North Shore, and that's where one of our headquarters is. We're Jackson and North Louisiana, and the North Shore up there. And so we are a collective roastery. We're roasting at Midtown Jackson right now. Um, we are in a shared space called The Hatch, but we are moving to, there's a brewery that went under in about 2019 called Lucky Town, and they have a beautiful building in Midtown, and we're moving our roastery over there. We're gonna have coffee from all over the world shipped to Midtown Jackson, and we're gonna roast it up and deliver it to your doorstep. Wow, you just put some water on that, and I smelled all of that. That's so, right, yeah, it's a part of it. Sensory experience, yeah. Coming up, uh, the Espresso Martini Showdown, Takedown, which one is? Throwdown. <laughs> Throwdown. <laughs> Everybody's going to throw down. Okay, that's right. so yeah. now show the folks when that's happening and all the things. Absolutely. Yeah. So one of the things that we want to do here in Mississippi is to build a coffee culture. And nobody, no, no other way to build a coffee culture than to throw a big party. So what we're doing is we're throwing a big party at Hall and Mal's Friday night from 6 until 10. 6 till 8, we're going to have two different competitions going on. There's a latte art throwdown. You know, when you get a latte from a coffee shop and it's got that little, like, leaf or heart in it. So we're going to have people competing over the best latte art. Then we're also going to have an espresso martini showdown as well. And so that's going to be, we have restaurants from all over Jackson competing in who can make, make the best espresso martini. We're going to have three different categories. We're going to do a coffee old-fashioned. We're going to do espresso martini and then a bartender's choice. And we're being sponsored by Cathead Distillery. So we've got a lot of really great alcohol, really great coffee, put them together and it's a party. Awesome. Absolutely. What are you most looking forward to for this time? I'm looking forward to the party. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We'll be there selling all of our, a couple of our coffee. We've got a really special coffee that we've been working on, um, a, a collaboration, if you will, uh, that we're going to be launching and debuting there at the party. Um, but yeah, I'll be there uh, slinging shirts, slinging merch, uh, and selling coffee. Awesome. And just having a good time. So now, also, I want to ask you guys, because yeah. espresso martinis are, like, becoming the rage right now. It's, like, all the thing for people who are 21 and older. You of don't course, drink it. Of course, 21 and older. That's yes, right. yes, That's right. of course. But why is that something you think is becoming a new thing? Because they're delicious, yeah. honestly. And I will tell you that, you know, as people, we're getting a little bit healthier as we go. So the espresso martini of the 90s was a vodka and Red Bull. And Red Bull's got a lot of chemicals and I don't know if anyone out here loves Red Bull but I'm gonna diss it a little bit but it's just not as very not as healthy for you coffee is a much better alternative for caffeine for pick-me-up when you put espresso vodka sugar together it tastes delicious and then it also kind of wakes you up a little bit too so if you want to have a long night hang out with your friends and have fun it's a really great option and they're very tasty that's why they're getting so popular I think so. awesome so now are we still waiting on the coffee to brew just yeah. a little bit just a little but bit the good more. thing more. is while it's brewing you also have some giveaways brewing for the folks at home so can you that's tell right. them what you decided to give away today? absolutely we got one of our special blends right here this is our shoreline this was one of the first blends that we created as uh, uh, as North Shore and excited about that and a lovely little diner mug right here which we're excited about reminds me of a good old Waffle House mug yeah, it, you know does. I mean? <laughs> it tastes better in there um, but yeah we're giving that away and yeah a lot of a lot of other great options all right and, so now and the winners of the competition mm -hmm. will be receiving some merch uh, from our local uh, support as well and we're excited about getting that out to them as well. Awesome. Okay, so yeah. now this is the giveaway for today's viewers at home. That's right. But now how can they keep up with you in the community? Where you want them to go to find out more about you yeah. guys? Best spot would be NorthShore.Coffee. NorthShore.Coffee uh, is our website, not .com. That was taken, so we have .coffee. Uh, so head there first, and then uh, every bottle of Mississippi Cold Drip, every shelf of Corner Market here in the Jackson area, uh, we're located. Uh, one of my, my favorite spots to be is the uh, farmer's market. They're on the fairgrounds. We're there every Saturday. If you want to come taste the coffee, uh, we have drip coffee that we just give away. Uh, you can taste it. 
Uh, you can have a full selection of our offering, our menu, from our highest end coffee, the specialty specialty flavors that have some great fruit notes to our to our basic blends. 